Today is the day. Welcome back. We are going to go hit Coyote Canyon today. I hadn't heard of this trail before until Nick, which is a lot of the trails. So it's a permit only that they do on Fridays and Saturdays, seven vehicles only. If you're watching this video, you probably have looked up some of that information. Just meeting over at Nick's campsite, we're gonna go meet the other five vehicles to go ahead and do this. It should be interesting. I'll try to take you along. I watched a lot of videos and they had some fun video of obstacles, but I just wanna try to see if I can capture a little bit more context. Hope you enjoy. Pull off is just past the, uh, behind the rocks trailhead before you would get to the exit for Cane Creek is where the parking lot's at. Let's get her done. Turn off with the gate. Let's have a look. Here's your registration information. Requirements. We're about to go down in. A little dirt, and here we go. Couple of spots that veer into some different ways. You don't have to follow me. If you want to take a harder route or some route that is definitely a designated route, feel free to do your thing. right into these rocks and then we start bouldering so right up the wash you barely go up the wash it's like 100 feet if that you come up to this you gotta navigate this and this turns out to be like that's okay. five feet to the top of that. Well, that was interesting. I don't know if I'll get footage of my climb, but um, a lot of speed and smashing so hard down on my passenger side. I uh, got my Jeep saved by my rock slider. Those sliders are toast. So I was thinking about getting new ones. Um, a little bit of a hit on the tub, but you can't tell that's supposed to be down here. a big rock for this by the way it's five feet tall and probably a thousand pounds yesterday down here in Moab. Gen right crew obviously out here running with us. Thanks to old Nico over here. He's a known man. Gen right for life. <laughs> oh, look at him make it. Look at him make it. Oh, 
everything on your first round out. Very nice, very nice. pathways here two pathways here left nick's going left there's these rocks obstacles and smoother than a big climb and then there's this consistent wash a little sluice i'm gonna try this and see if i uh if i make her The other side so there's that pretty good and then this bouldering i'm not gonna say that the side that i went up's any harder the generate guys felt like it looked like more fun um but like this boulder right here that you have to is waist high so that's a good good two and a half three feet same thing here cameron's coming up it he's on three and a half inch lift 37s he does have amazing suspension though. He's three linked up front, dual triangulated rear. So, there's Nick doing the wave. You're in your tie rod back up. Nicely placed. like two and a half three feet spanning it Oof. careful on the corner panel so there's the bottom I'll catch this real quick you got to squeeze between those rocks right there which is a little bit of work here shouldn't say a little bit of work but it's work and then this is the bigger lip and then up at the top Nice climb there. Nice crawl. That's where I got wedged a bit. Ooh, good wheel stand.
Light work for him. There we go. Let's go around. Sorry for the heavy breathing, guys, I'm just fat. So, right after you pick left or right is where you get to one of the other photo shots you see on most everybody else's video where they go around the tree and cut through or go right through the middle. Let's see how wide these trees really are. Um, Look like about eight feet between them. How tall are you, Cam? Six feet, and he's got an extra three feet worth of stuff there. Eight, nine feet. We're all ten feet tall out here. All of us hardcore wheelers. I'm going up through here and coming around. It looks like you can go up there and go over, or you can go through the tree. So, three choices. Here comes Nick. He took the turn and went up through there, through the middle line. Boy, is he high up on that thing. Let's see if I can come around and have a look. So here's a spot I see the video, a lot of people going up here to the left. Um, Nick's going straight. I didn't even know there was a straight before from the other videos. So maybe I'm misgaging when they think they're going that way, but that looks freaking hard. All right, we got Nick through here. All these were kicked out. And so he was bellying out and hitting control arms on this giant rock. So now we're in some juice. This doesn't look very big, but it's, gosh, it's like five feet tall right here. And he's trying to wedge around. Let me go around the top and walk you through this way while he's situating. So a lot of people, I've seen turn hard to driver into that and then climb up this way, but this giant boulder here can get you. And then looks like it's up and around here. So this is what we're looking at up top. All right, so what we're wiggling Nick back and forth is because we need his passenger side to hook in here because when he gets on top of the ridge, it's pushing him over. So we need it to get pinned here to hold his front end up and over so we can climb. Pushing that big rock. Hold on, we'll give them one person who's telling them down, you tell them. Oh, that actually helped. Yeah, you go. You're going to clear it now. Nice job. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't wiggle yet. He was doing the Moab wiggle a minute ago and it dropped him all the way down. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> try to hold this steady I got the GoPro in the Jeep I just got through this and it took like 45 minutes trying not to get messed up here's Cameron is right below that where Nick got stuck was hard I getting up that and then making this turn and then trying not to hit my a pillar here was another game oh see There we go. There we go. Right above us, Nick's got some work to do. Try not to take out his driver's side. This is, this is a trail, guys. Holy crap. So I'll say it, this is the first trail I've been on um, where even when you do really good, there's going to be quite a bit of uh, <clears throat> trail damage. Even with stacking rocks, and if you don't stack rocks, good luck. Um, you have a buggy or you're just, your build is top notch. Or you have a narrow build, like uh, probably like a TJ, YJ, CJ. But trying to get through here with four doors, it's some business for sure. I'm gonna let out some air on my passenger side to get me through that with a little bit better clearance.
Jimmy. Passengers getting ready to come off. Very nice, very nice. So right after you get through that wedge area that Nick went through and we got through, you pull up on a left or right the right is pretty undercut as you can tell by the amount of rocks that are stacked here they're probably normally stacked up here closer because you're going to be here and here yeah i'll film you well i doubt anything's going to be that difficult for you and then you got a hole here for people trying to go right the tires there over or left let me see what's left. A big turtle and drop off. So you got to go this way. Um, the other side looks, I'll be frank, looks a little easier. Although they're big rocks. I'll walk over there and show you. So this one just looks like a ride high here. Passenger tire here. Well, I'll try not to get tipped into here. So that's gonna be your trick. I think actually most of the ones I've seen people go this way and they're this way getting tilted into this rock. Hard passenger, there you go. Ooh, this is a sexy shot. Straighten them out. Okay, you need to go passenger now. When you can. Yep. Yep. It's not quite to the cliff, but it's getting to the hang. It's like that far. But I'll go take a look and see if you're on a control arm or anything. Yeah, you'll climb that, Nick. That was nice. Yep. Come passenger. There you go, right there. More driver. More driver, more hard driver now. You're getting rotated over. There you go, straighten them out. Now cut hard passenger. Climbing in the rear. Climbing in the front. Boy, this is a route. Right there, straighten them out. Stop. 
Go back. Oh, you're good. You slid on it. Good job. Very nice. Well, that's how you do that. Jeez. Let's go. Left line. So Don lost his steering right there. Everything's intact, so it looks like the sector shaft inside of the steering box broke. So we had to back Cam up, and we're gonna pull him down and try to get him steered out. Here goes old Mr. Point and Shoot. No time to really watch what he's doing. Um, we're trying to get done so we can come back and find a steering box for Don. It's just been a workout trying to get down, just boulders everywhere. We're on the descent but that was pretty good I mean that's still a foot and a half there's like a, you know two and a half maybe three foot drop you got this ledge this would eat your axle if you go over to this side because that's a foot and a half to two feet and then you got to wiggle around down there so I'm up there. Let's give this a go. Rory just came blazing in. Dropping some BSE stuff off, you know? All right. Tucked in behind my tire because it got windy as crazy, blowing hats off and got nuts. Um, full disclosure, that was the most difficult trail I've ever done. I've done quite a few trails. We'll see what Fordyce has for me. It was one where, and the reason why I say that is, even when you do really, even when I did really good, I still beat the crap out of my Jeep and uh, had to stack a ton of rocks. I'm on five to six inches, so six up front, five in the rear, 39 inch tires. I got a long arm up front. I don't have a long arm in the back, which didn't hinder me. It gave me more clearance on this one, but um, the Genrite guys that wheeled with us, those guys can freaking wheel. I wheeled out of there at the end, that last part. Couldn't record a ton of it just because we were moving, trying to get down, get uh, Don because of his steering box gone. This is one definitely worth doing. I'll just do a quick walk around, show what's up as far as scratches, dings, nicks, and what have you. It was real. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please give me a like comment definitely subscribe i'd love to hear from you hopefully we see you guys out on the trails driver's side obviously use the fender or the slider a lot nothing big on that passenger side the tire carrier did take some hits I'm trying to get positioned we'll see if it opens and closes well after all that but that took some hits um doesn't look too awful this rock slider has got nothing for me. I like the mounting of it, but that poison spider just did not have the juice. Um, we're scratched up and dented a little bit right there. Not too bad. I didn't realize it. I finally took real trail damage. This is like the, this is failing me. It sucks, right? But he's cut in here make a nice smooth look and it allowed me to hit right here on a rock and obviously it's flaked my paint a little bit so I'll have to remedy that before the next big trip but like that is you can see where I hit right there with it when I was trying to go up so other than that um hit here my hydro steering Hose blew off and shared its love everywhere. Hit the front bumper just a little bit. But definitely got to be ready for trail damage. Definitely got to be ready for some trail damage.